Welcome to Enots Engineering, I'm Alan. Last week we made the insert holder and making that I had to swivel the vise so that I could get the angle for the insert. It's when I noticed that the vise not only swivelled but moved backwards and forwards at the same time that I thought there was something wrong there. So I took the vise apart and found that this small steel peg which is a press fit in the bottom part into the base of the vise and a clearance on the top part was too small. The press fit was okay, it was holding in the vise, but the top part was machined to 20 millimeter and the hole was at least 20.3 millimeter. So I've got some play. When I looked into it, I think that the hole is either tapered or oval so what I had to do was make a new peg to ensure that when I swiveled the vise round it didn't move backwards or forwards at the same time. Also, while I was taking the vise apart I thought that would be a good opportunity to reset the zero position on the vise because when I first had it and lined the vise up to zero on the mark it was about one degree out. So let's go into the workshop and see how I did it. When I was using the vise in the milling machine, I noticed that as I turn the vise round on the swivel, there's quite a bit of play in it. So I thought if you need something really accurate, it should just swivel. And as soon as you start moving backwards and forwards, and that means as you're swiveling it, you're not swiveling on the centre you could be a mill up and down so I thought I'd have a look to see what the problem was and all there is a peg on there and a hole in the bottom of the vise. Now this peg is tight in the base it's a press fit so I'll just take that out so there's the, the piece of metal that we're looking at. In here it's a press fit but in here just wobbles about. So what I need to do is make one of these pegs that's a little bit bigger, about 10 thou bigger on the diameter so that it doesn't wobble about. It moves free, it will swivel but not wobble like this. That's the the part off the bottom of the vise, two diameters, the big diameter is 20 millimeters, the small diameter is 18, the 18 and needs to be a press fit, the 20 needs to be a couple of thou, three thou uh, under the hole size. Now I'm not sure whether this is small or whether it's a hole that's big. So we'll just measure that to see. That's 0.785 inch. I think it'll be metric. So that's a couple of thou down. So that must mean that the hole is bigger. This is the piece of steel I found in my off cut box. I should get that out of that steel. So as it's smaller on there, what I will do is hold it in the chuck. The hole is 20.3 millimetres, so if I use this and machine it to 20.3, you can use this as a gauge. Once I know the size, if I go under size, I can always turn it round and recut this. So I can use this then as a gauge to fit the part.
This is the hole I need it to fit. And it's still too big. 20.5 millimeters. So I'll take another point one off. Just going on. A little bit more taken out. It's, it's a bit loose on there. It doesn't seem. That's point seven, ninety one and a half. So it needs to be bigger than that. Seventh hour over at the moment, so I'll just take a bit more off. <laughs> should be about 0.08 of a millimetre bigger. Let's just check the original one. Seven and a half thou up. Still five there bigger. So this one is three thou bigger than the original. Now to help that go in, or help me put this in, I'm just going to put a little undercut at the beginning so it will line it up. chamfer on the front. Turn this round in the machine.
I've pressed it into the base. I've put some grease in the back of that hole because I think the hole, this hole is oval I think because the new pin it goes tight and then loose so I think this hole is oval. The old pin just rattled about so I'll put the old one in there. You can see the sort of play you've got on that pin which is fully in. It's either the holes tapered probably could be or the holes oval. Anyway that's the new pin before I put the top on I was going to change the zero position on here you can see that that zero mark is not zero it's about a degree out I think I'll file this off when I set it to zero on the mill I can then remark it you can see on the vice I've just polished off the original marking which was a degree out and to do that I've used the file to roughly get it taken out and then emery cloth just to put a nice flat surface on again. I've put the bolts back underneath the vice oh, that seems better yeah before when I undid the bolts you could see the whole top moving backwards and forwards now it just rotates there's little play in that now I need to replace these washers that go on the top you can see they've just crushed in to the hole needs a bigger washer thicker so that when you tighten the nut up it clamps it down and the washer doesn't go into the slot ok we're back to the mill um, I've also noticed that these washers that came with the vice on here um, starting to bend so I'll put a bigger washer underneath just to spread the load team nuts back in so this machine these bolts are too long I could cut them off but I thought I'd buy some shorter ones and save the longer ones zero this is square on the end of this thread gauge so I can hold it on the top of the lip and move it across so it lines up with the zero and using a scriber at an angle let's re-scratch the datum point back in well, 
that's another job completed. Hope that was interesting and we'll see you next time on Enoch's Engineering.